Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Ali, I'm a junior doctor working in Cambridge, and this is another instalment of the Study With Me vlog series, where I talk through what I do in a day and explain some of my study techniques that students might find helpful. So I wake up at 7.30, lie in bed doing absolutely nothing for around half an hour, and then have a shower while listening to Jess and Gabriel's latest Christmas album on Spotify. At 8.30, I grab my boosted board and head over to the hospital for a meeting with one of the senior medicine doctors. Very excitingly, he invites me along on a medical mission trip to Sudan. So if it all works out, then me and nine other doctors will be going to Sudan in January to run some mobile medical clinics and run education workshops for medical students at Khartoum University. After grabbing a coffee with him, I spend the next hour or so trying to sort out my annual leave to make this trip happen, which involves a lot of back and forth with a rotor coordinator and trying to arrange swaps with colleagues. I get back home around 11 a.m. and unwrap a package courtesy of Proporter, who are very kindly sponsoring this video. Proporter make phone cases and accessories, including this lovely wireless charging dock that's now a staple part of my desk setup. All of their products come with lifetime warranty and they've got loads of deals running over Black Friday and the Christmas period and you can check out the video description for links to their website. At around noon I actually start doing some work and I start by working through the online study modules for the ALS course. ALS stands for Advanced Life Support and it's a two-day training course that trains us in recognizing acutely deteriorating patients and resuscitating them. I'm doing the course next week, so I'm spending a few days this week working through the pre-course materials. Normally, I'm not one to be overly keen about pre-reading, but in this case, I'm taking this very seriously because lives are literally on the line. I've been in some situations over the past few years where resuscitation attempts in hospitals haven't been so great. And if I'm on the scene of a cardiac arrest, I want to know what the hell I'm doing, obviously. While working through these modules, I add a sheet to my active recall spreadsheet for 2018 to 19 and write down questions for myself based on stuff that I didn't know. I'm working on a video to explain this in more detail, but essentially it's a flashcard alternative that I find works better for some stuff than flashcards do. I write the question in one column, the answer in the next, and then when I'm going through them, I change the font color of the answer column to white so I can't see the answer. And then once I'm done, I color the boxes of the questions that I struggled with in yellow, orange, or red, depending on how bad my recall was. This then becomes a very easy way to see where the holes in my knowledge are when I'm looking through the Google sheet again. I do this for around an hour before getting bored and deciding to run some errands. So I head over to the post office to pick up some parcels, stop by my old university medics house to say hi to some of the students there and pick up some more parcels and to grab some groceries for lunch and at lunch today is a collection of random veg with some oven-baked scampi. From 3 p.m. I spend around an hour editing some more of my iPad Pro review video, which went live recently, and then from 4 p.m. my housemate Molly and I head over to the clinical school for a meeting with the palliative care team and some staff from Macmillan, a cancer support charity. Uh, I'm off to go wheelchair racing, which is a sport that I do. So Molly is actually the county champion in wheelchair racing. No, I'm not. That's literally a lie. I swear you've got an award for it. Yeah, for achievements in Cambridge, not counting. Sorry. Achievements in Cambridge. Molly has an award for achievements in Cambridge in wheelchair racing. Hi, Ali. Can I help you put it in the car rather than filming? Uh, I mean, I kind of need one hand to hold the phone. And this is nothing in my book apart from your six metal books. When we get home, I spend another hour adding the final touches and uploading the iPad Pro video. And then from around 7.30 p.m., I sit down to do some more work. At this point, I've done the online modules for the course, and now I'm going through the course manual. And there's a hell of a lot of text. And while I'm not normally a fan of reading masses of text, sometimes it just has to be done. Having said that, while doing so, I try to keep in mind a broad perspective, i.e. not focusing too much on the smaller details and instead trying to understand the big picture. As I'm reading the information, I'm relating it to my own experiences of resuscitation. And if I come across anything new and important, firstly, I highlight it, but more importantly, I turn it into a question that I'll be able to test myself with. Sometimes I add these questions to the spreadsheet if I think they're really important, but at other times I just write them in my notability page on my iPad Pro to look back on when reviewing my notes. The important thing here is that I'm not just writing information down, I'm writing down questions that are gonna test my knowledge later on. Hopefully you'll have seen my video about evidence-based study tips. Uh, it'll be linked above and below if you haven't. And that talks about how active recall is by far the most efficient study technique. I also try to minimize the highlighting I do. Uh, the evidence from various studies shows that rereading and highlighting are pretty poor revision techniques. I think highlighting can be useful when you're first going through a text to highlight stuff that's new to you. And it's working fine for me with this because I already know the bulk of the information in this course manual. And therefore, if I highlight what I don't know, I'll easily be able to look at it later. 
If, however, I was learning the stuff for the first time, I'd probably avoid highlighting initially because everything is going to be new. And in that circumstance, I'd focus on writing questions for myself that test my broad brushstroke understanding of the concepts. After around two hours of doing this, I start to get really bored and decide to take a break. So first, my housemate Molly and I film a cover of This Is Me from The Greatest Showman for my Instagram story. And then I decide to unwrap the various packages that I picked up during the day. I'd bitten the bullet earlier and bought a set of Philips Hue smart light bulbs in the Amazon Black Friday sales. And so I get those set up and spend the rest of the evening playing around with the different light settings. Overall, this was a pretty chill day with some studying thrown in the mix. I enjoy studying for the most part, but other than in the immediate run up to important exams, I like to take it at a pretty leisurely pace, but ensure that I use efficient tactics like active recall and spaced repetition to avoid having to spend hours and hours reading a textbook and making my own notes. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider doing so. Have a lovely day and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.